This mega explosion could erase humanity. One day, a seismic event will occur that will be so catastrophic that it will wipe out humanity. According to scientists, there is a 97% chance of a catastrophic eruption that will kill many people in our lifetimes. There has recently been much talk in the news about the Yellowstone volcano exploding and wiping out human civilization. However, what is a volcano? And why is this one so unique? In this video, we look at the destructive power of the Yellowstone eruption and how NASA planned to save humanity. The Yellowstone supervolcano is one of the world's largest known volcanoes. It covered an area of 3,000 kilometers squared, with lava flows and other eruption debris at its peak. Its most recent eruption occurred around 600 AD, but scientists estimate it will erupt again in 600 to 800 years. In this video, we will look at the Yellowstone supervolcano, how it will affect humanity, and NASA's plan to contain the eruption. Before we continue, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content. To be notified of new videos, click the bell button. Have you done so already? Let's get this video going. Volcanoes have recently received much attention. In particular, their ability to swallow and melt defenseless camera drones. What would happen if a supervolcano erupted? Real life lore gives us a taste of that nightmare scenario by imaging what would happen if Wyoming's Yellowstone supervolcano erupted. Moreover, yes, it would be disastrous. Real life lore recently posted the above plant-like glimpse into the supervolcano's disastrous potential effects. Real Life Lore does his best to outline the massive devastation in this look at the unimaginable disaster. The supervolcano, located in Wyoming's northwestern corner, has a magma chamber 37 miles long, 18 miles wide, and 5 miles deep. If enough pressure is applied, the ticking time bomb will explode with enough force to launch hundreds of cubic miles of material 14 miles into the sky. According to real life lore, lava from the volcano would destroy almost everything within a 40 mile radius of the blast. The eruption may also destroy major US cities such as Denver, Salt Lake City, and Boise. The massive amount of volcanic material in the atmosphere would then rain down toxic ash across the entire United States, primarily in the Northwest. The ash would also kill plants and animals, crush buildings, block freeways, and destroy the country's farmland for generations. FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, estimates that the volcano would cause $3 trillion in damage, roughly 14% of America's GDP. On the other hand, the loss of life would be the most heinous aspect of the event. This, thankfully, is unlikely to occur for at least another 10,000 years. Will this eruption annihilate humanity? No, we can be certain of this because there have been two massive explosions while humans have been on Earth, both of which which are larger than Yellowstone's most recent cataclysmic eruption. These eruptions occurred approximately 74,000 years ago in Toba, Indonesia and approximately 26,500 years ago in Taupo, New Zealand. So the next time you hear someone claim that Yellowstone will wipe out humanity, you can tell them they are wrong. What is the proof? Larger events than Yellowstone's most recent big explosion have occurred while humans have been on the planet. Twice. Moreover, we are still here to report on it. When was the last time Yellowstone experienced volcanism? Scientists discovered that multiple explosions preceded the last super eruption that Yellowstone volcano over decades. The Lava Creek Tuff eruption occurred 631,000 years ago, and researchers have discovered unexpected rock deposits that indicate the event was far more complicated than previously thought. Yellowstone has seen several massive caldera forming eruptions. The Huckleberry Ridge Tuff eruption 2.1 million years ago was so powerful that the ground above the magma chamber collapsed, leaving a crater 50 miles long and 40 miles wide. Another massive super eruption 631,000 years ago ejected 1,000 cubic kilometers of rock and left ash deposits across the western United States, southern Canada, and northern Mexico. When might the next Yellowstone explosion occur? Volcanoes do not behave predictably. 
and the eruptions do not occur on predictable timetables. Even so, the math does not support the volcano being due for an eruption. Yellowstone had three large explosions at 2.08, 1.3, and 0.631 million years ago. This equates to an average of 725,000 years between eruptions. In that case, there are still about 100,000 years to go, but this is based on an average of only two time intervals between eruptions, which is meaningless. Most volcanic systems that experience super eruption do not experience it multiple times. When super eruptions occur in a volcanic system more than once, they are not evenly spaced in time. How does a supervolcano's eruption take place? A massive magma reservoir beneath Yellowstone National Park is responsible for all the geysers and hot springs that are bubbling away. And this reservoir has the potential to destroy humanity. Every 100,000 years, a supervolcano explodes worldwide, with potentially fatal consequences. If the volcano beneath Yellowstone National Park erupted, it would cause global hunger and a volcanic winter, the cooling of the lower atmosphere. According to UN estimates cited by The Guardian, an eruption could leave us only 74 days of food reserves. NASA researchers are considering water cooling. The more gas is produced by the volcano, the hotter it becomes. The magma continues to melt, and the area above the magma chamber rises, and an explosion is unavoidable when the heat exceeds a certain threshold, so cooling the supervolcano would be the logical solution. Large amounts of water are required to cool the volcano, which in theory would have to be fed into the volcano. However, implementation is nearly impossible. Building a big aqueduct uphill into a mountainous region would be both costly and difficult. And people do not want their water spent that way. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory's Brian Wilcox told the BBC. People all over the world are desperate for water, so a major infrastructure project in which the only use of the water is to cool down a supervolcano would be highly contentious. NASA has a strategy. On the other hand, NASA has a different plan. Drill 10 kilometers into the supervolcano and pump water down under high pressure. This would gradually lower the temperature over time. Above all, it's critical to drill into the volcano's sides rather than directly at the magma reservoir's tip, as drilling there could hasten the volcano's eruption. The catch is that the plan is very expensive, $3.46 billion. When the benefits, such as the possibility of averting the extinction of humanity, are considered, the cost appears to be justified. The more gases the volcano produces, the hotter it becomes, and when the heat exceeds a certain threshold, an explosion is unavoidable. Reuters This plan has an additional benefit. Through drilling in this manner, it could be used to create a geothermal plant, which generates electric power at extremely competitive prices around 10 cents per kilowatt. Geothermal companies would need the incentive to drill deeper and use hotter water than they would normally. However, the idea is that you would pay back your initial investment and receive electricity to power the surrounding area for tens of thousands of years. NASA has issued a warning. Yellowstone explodes every 600,000 years, and it's been 600,000 years since the last one. That should make us sit up and take notice. According to a New York Times op-ed, a supervolcano eruption beneath Yellowstone's national park would be unlike anything humanity has ever seen. According to journalist and End Times author Brian Walsh, 20 supervolcanoes on Earth pose the greatest natural threat to human life. The Yellowstone supervolcano has a volcanic explosively index of 8, but has only erupted 3 times in the last 2.1 million years. The most recent eruption occurred 600,000 years ago. According to Walsh, volcanologists predict that an explosion could spread toxic gas to the Midwest, destroying crops and power. He says that a toxic cloud-blocking sun could result in much colder temperatures in the United States for years to come. According to Walsh, the European Science Foundation predicted it would be the greatest catastrophe since the dawn of civilization. He claims supervolcanoes are an ultra-catastrophe that could lead to global devastation, even human extinction. This video has come to an end. 
Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more videos like it. Make sure to click the bell icon to be notified when new videos are posted. Bye for the time being, until the next video.